All right. We're going to go through the curriculum material very quickly. Now we're, we're warming up, so we're going to start with, uh, with blue gloves, which is just catch return the jab. This is an easy one, but it's nice one to start with. She jabs. I'm going to catch her from the jab. She deals with that jab however she likes. So up, light on the ball to your feet. It's just always her starting for the first minute. I'm bomb. Right, I catch her turn. She has a choice. She can catch. She can push, push it down. No. <laughs> no destruction. Is that my choice? <laughs> your choice is hers, so that goes. She can scoop it. Okay. She can, she can also choose to evade. She can slip. Okay. She can slip. She can duck. Bomb. Okay. So your choice, how you deal with the jab on the second part. But the first part, on my part, I always catch return. Catch return, now I get to switch roles. All right? So next one, continue with blue belt material with Brian. So Brian's going to throw the cross. My receiver, I'm going to slip. So when he comes, uh, so as I'm slipping, I'm bringing my rear shoulder forward. My head comes off the line, All right? So we don't slip back right now. This is slipping forward. That puts me in range to return the high hook. So what we're looking for is to see that when you throw your cross, you're ready to cover, right? So, so you don't leave the cross out exactly as Ryan's doing. You come right back up ready to cover. So he crosses, I slip, and I hook. Okay? So when you slip, keep your hands up. I keep my hand. I have a tendency to drop this hand, but my other hand comes to guard a little bit. Okay? Because this also protects me from him coming to my body. So I don't mind if that one drops, but don't do this. <laughs> All right? So slip and come back here. Okay, for this one though, you're, uh, yes, you can do whatever you want for the hook. Right, you have to slip the cross, return the hook. You can deal with the hook wherever you want. Whether you bob and weave, you cover, you parry, whatever you like. All right? All right, cross, turn the hook. Uh, the first one is, so what we've done a few times, we're gonna do the midline frontal chasse, chasse frontal. Leave it, yeah. You're just coming to lead right, just hitting you right there, ideally with the heel, right? What she does, I'm going to sidestep, and as I sidestep, I'm basically doing a, a, a stance switch. I'm letting my lead leg drift to the rear, so I'm in position now to throw my mid foot. Okay. So she comes up. This is going to be the right. Oh, no, wrong lead. There we go. Shift. Remember, this is blue glove level. So I was saying, as I said a few times, it's not meant to be simultaneous. I'm trying to beat her. I'm evading and returning. Right? And she's being checked on how well she recovers from throwing her kick. But if she really loses her balance and she throws the kick and lands forward, yes, yeah, she's going to have it. You can see that that kick is going to be punishing. Right? So you're working with some control in your technique. Okay? You got it. So if I think Denisha, I think I'm doing like a, a, a switch stance and step to the side a little bit as I step in and I chassis frontel, and then you're going to throw your kick. Right? So you evade the chassis frontel, but when the round kick comes, she, I have my choice. I can uh, parry, right? I can go opposition, I can scoop, I can choose to ride it, or I can just evade it if I want to evade it. Uh, free choice on how I deal with that. <coughs> okay, so that's the blue glove. So let's start with the blue glove. So blue glove's going to work off of the rear foot in medium. She's coming with her rear foot in medium. Oh, that's it. So when she does that, I'm going to turn, I'm going to face in opposition. So I'm turning my hips, and right from there, I'm going to bring my knee up and do my chasse bas. Right? This is we've done this one two times, right? But yeah. she That's a little, she's trying to evade that to show that she can recover from her kick and evade my chasse. Right? So opposition, already turning my hips. So I just bring my knee up and then drop into the chasse and come back. Okay? It's simple, so make sure you're clean, especially if I'm feeding her. Every part should be clean. This is my start. I only have one kick to deliver. It's my rear foot day. So I have to have a target. I raise my knee. I turn my hips. And I deliver a clean kick. Find my distance. Up. And then the knee. Right? So because it's simple, it should be clean. Uh, this one is a little bit uh, a little bit quicker on the exchange. That I'm coming with the low lateral chasse off my rear leg. She's going to step to the side to evade it, right? So her lead leg is actually going to step to the side, and that's going to line her up to throw her foot up. This one you can, you can try to cut the timing to be a little bit quicker. Like the first time we did it off the chasse front out, right? We waited. This time when she's coming, she's coming for this leg, which is going a little like a real leg chasse to, to my lead leg here, right? 
But as she comes in and I sidestep, I can come right over that kick. I don't have to wait for that kick. And because it's a low line kick, I can sidestep and come over. And the other option she has, it works the same, is that she can go for the rear leg. She can chassis to my rear leg. I do the same thing. I sidestep and I kick, try to kick over. And if I, <laughs> the is I sidestep and I kick over the top of that leg. So it can be, it's much harder to beat that way, but that's why that chamber, if you chamber, right, if you, if you, if I actually, uh, sorry, did it one more time. If I actually chamber high, I will be above it. But if you're lazy in your chamber, <laughs> is when you'll get it. So you chamber high and kick above it. Easier to do off the lead leg if she targets my lead leg, because I can actually step out of the way and kick over top. Okay? So that's the blue glove. Rear leg, chasse bas, rear leg, footé to return. The side step should already put your hips in position to throw the kick. So don't side step this way square. Side step, training the hips. Get ready for the kick. All uh, right, blue guy, you're gonna start with a lead leg high, high over there lateral. So think of it once again like a side kick that misses kind of, but it's, it's time to do so leg extended. Okay. Scratch that. You're gonna raise your leg up the side of your body and then you're gonna cut across. So I would step behind, that would be my lateral. Right, coming across. So try to slap across your face. Step behind, slap across your face. Return over. Oh, you're going to turn your lead leg, uh, chasse medium. Lead leg, chasse front up. So I start off, I step behind, I repair, she's going to chasse front up. That's it. She's just evading in front of the chasse front up. Right? That's the blue glove. That's the blue glove. And she's going to come and give me the good pay to my. So my lead leg, you could take my leg, but that's what she wants to do. When she does that, right, I'm gonna pull it back and I'm gonna cross, okay? So you have a couple of choices. You can just, let's go, so are we lined up here? Let's go. Right, you can, you can just pull it back and cross, or you can switch stance and cross. So you have two choices on how you do it. One is that I just pull it in my hip, right? So it depends on the range. She's gotta be in the range to do the kick there, 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 there. there, that's it, right? So you can see right there, it can be tough there, or so either one is your option. Not good. It's a simple one, but it's another one that should be really clean. So you really have to keep your eyes up, you can't look down. You have to wait for her to throw the coup de pay. <laughs> so you're up, we're bouncing, pop, over, up, we're bouncing, and whoa, she can throw the coup de pay. <laughs> <laughs> she can just do that. <laughs> Works just as well. If you rather see. <laughs> so we're moving and I come with the coup de pay. Right? So you make sure you deliver your coup de pay well. She knows it's coming. She should be able to evade, so don't pull it short. As we all do it, try to be nice to our partners. We all kind of throw the coup de pay and stop it short. So be in range and throw the coup de pay. Yeah, that's it. And that'll give the deal for her palm. Oh, there we go. And then on my, on my receiving end, I have to be ready to cover. <laughs> but she throws, yeah. So, so shoot palm. Okay, so have your hands up. Don't drop your hands. I'm just trying to avoid. I think it was also make a point that the traditional coup de pay leaves yourself vulnerable because that's traditionally how the coup de pay was thrown. And we would be in here and I would do this. Uh, yeah. But it also meant that you could lean back a lot farther. And when you did this, you could actually be harder to reach. Where today you tend to be here, you don't lean back so far to your ability to reach. Right? So that's your blue glove. All right. So, all right. So, blue glove. We're working to do a clean lead lateral chasse medium. That's really what. And you want to see on at this level of the test. So if you want to break down traditional footwork, it would be to step across, step behind, chasse. Right? That would be as clean as I, I could do. I could come here. All she's going to do is she's going to carry it down and she's going to come back with a lead high uppercut. Right? So she can carry it down with her rear hand and punching with her lead hand. So let's go every time, break it down. You can do combative, you can kind of just hop into it. But I, I think, you know, Salem really is at blue glove level. You like to see this kind of breakdown. You would step behind, right? So you step over, you step behind the chamber, she pushes down, she becomes with the uppercut. And it's looking to see that I can recover from my nice chest, hopefully my nice chest, that yeah, I can recover and be prepared to deal with that uppercut coming in. All right, so that's the blue belt. She comes with a lead chasse, right? Step into your lead chasse medium, and then the pairing comes uppercut. That's all we're looking for. But when they're simple, single techniques, try to sell that technique as the best. Technique that you can do, right? So I'm up with her and I step on oh, oh, oh. She comes at me. Oh, 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 oh. Okay? All right, that's the blue belt. Okay. So she's gonna do a sweeping. She's gonna, so she does her lead high hook, right? 
children to read high hopes to me. I'm going to bob and weave. And as I come up from the bob and weave, I can either stay, I can either sweep from this way, or as I bob and weave, I can come here and I can sweep this way. That's your choice. Or you can even go really, really deep. You can step real, real far back and try to come from the heel from behind. So you have three choices on how you deal with it. But basically, what you need to make sure is that your bob and weave is clean. You couldn't pay it secondary. As a partner, if you're planted, it's going to work bad for me. But it also means you take the hit. Right? Whether my sweep succeeds or not, if you look at it as far as the ring issue, is that you've taken the hit. So I evaded your shot. If I get the shot and I hit you, that's fine. If it doesn't sweep, doesn't work. It doesn't matter if I swept. It's the fact that I did contact. And so you've taken the hit. Right? So again, bob and weave, side step, sweeping coup de pay. Okay? Three options on the coup de pay. That's your blue glove. Let the guy I'm going to trace your body so I can step behind. It's a real angle. She's going to sway back to back the way she did, but she's coming back with a conscious somehow. Is that verbatim what it says? You're coming back with a high read book. I'll hurt you. I'm going to lead the hook. So it's lead, it's lead to lead. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> I, I find my distance. I reveal that and roll. She comes back with a high lead hook. Bam! That's it. She comes at me. So the idea is that when she comes, I say, ah, come on, lateral, that's not that. Lead leg, lateral, lateral, lead leg. Lead leg. What am I doing? This? You did, yeah, you did front. <laughs> Step behind, and that's it. I'm just going to stay back because I want to stay in range. I want to be as much in range as I can. So I'm going to come back with a high hook. Right? Move up. Sucks. Great. Do it. <laughs> 